Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you a very simple application inside which you can just transfer all the information that you submit inside your HTML form to your Google Sheet using Google Apps Script. So basically this is the demo of this application. You can see that there are two fields out there, email address and name field. So whatever information that you will write inside this field guys, it will be transferred inside this Google Sheet. So let me take you a very simple example. Let me enter the email address. Uh, let me enter uh, Geeky Gotham and uh, enter the name as well. Let me enter this name here. So as soon as you can see guys, if I click the send button, this information will be sent directly to my Google Sheet here. You will see, you can see result is success, row is added here. So in this way guys, you can capture any sort of email address or names of the person. You can deploy this application on your website also. Let me change this email address to john at the rate gmail.com and so again, if I click send here, you will now see again, the second row will be inserted. You will see name, email, date. Date will automatically get inserted with the today's date. So you can just automate your Google Sheet guys and capture the information that is submitted by the user inside HTML form. You can deploy this website to WordPress or any custom website. You can have a user email capture form here where you can just capture the user information and just get all the email addresses out there. So this is very simple guys using google apps script we will be showing you step by step tutorial how to do this process it's very simple so if you go to my tutorial website which is hosted on web ninja developer.com i have given the link in the description of this video so you will find out the step by step blog post all the instructions will be given so i will highly recommend that you read that blog post also alongside watching this video so let's start building this application from scratch guys so as you all know guys google apps script basically it's a scripting language where you can develop uh, apps relate using the google api so if you just write google app script this is just a scripting language developed by google in 2009 and basically it makes use of google apis so this is their uh, website guys and basically you can see build web apps and automate task with google app script so you just click start scripting and you will be redirected to their editor here so here you can create any sort of project here and specifically guys we are working with google sheet here so we will need to go to google sheet and here you need to first of all create a google sheet here so click on go to sheets and here guys you need to create a blank sheet here and you can just rename this sheet to any name of your choice it totally depends upon you so let me name as capture email so i am saving it guys you can see that and now you just need to create three columns out there which is the date the name field and the email field so sorry this needs to be email and this one should be name of the person that's it so just create these three fields out there three columns guys so all this information will be get inserted inside these three columns and now you simply need to go to extensions tab and now you need to select the third option which is called as app script so just select this option guys so now we will be redirected to the editor where we will write some code here for building this application it's very simple code you will i will write step by step so this is the editor guys basically here you can write all your code this is the extension of this file of google script which is gs code.gs basically it's just a javascript code it's very simple let me create some spacing here and uh, now let me just create so first of all guys we will uh, write the sheet name where we will be editing the sheet name will be sh simply sheet one because if you see in the bottom side where we are editing the sheet one so that's why we have written sheet one here after this guys we just need to get the script property and uh, property service and this contains a method which is called as get script properties so we will do like this so it will get the properties of the script and now we need to uh, create an initial setup guys uh, method where we need to grant the permission to the user to use this spreadsheet application we need to grant the permission from the user so for doing this guys we need to create a new variable which is called as uh, active spreadsheet what is the uh, active spreadsheet and here this needs to be equal to spreadsheet app this is the actual api that we are using and this contains a method which is get active sheet get active spreadsheet this is a method 
After this guys we will say script property and we need to set a property here which is called as the key property and this needs to be equal to active spreadsheet and we need to get its ID. So there is a method out there which lets you get its ID which is called as get ID that's it. So now if you save this code guys you can save your project by clicking this button so it will save your project and after this you will have this a function which is called as initial setup. So this will contain all the methods that you create. So after this guys what we need to do is that we need to now enter the post method. So whenever the user submit the form what should happen basically whenever I click this button which is, which is send here. So what should happen? So we need to write this method which is automatically gets called which is called as do post and uh, Inside this method guys we will be inserting the information of the user which they submit. So e parameter is automatically passed here and we will be creating a lock service here which is get script lock and we will be locking it for I think 10 second. This is in millisecond so 10,000 milliseconds is equal to 10 second and we will now have a try catch block guys. So this will be a try catch block and inside this we will be basically be inserting the information. So if you are not understanding this code guys totally normal you, sh you just need to copy paste this code and uh, we need to open this uh, spreadsheet by its id so this contains a method open by id and here we have the have to pass script property dot get property and here we need to pass the property which is key that's it and uh, after this guys we need to select the sheet which sheet we are doing so const sheet is equal to dog dot get sheet by name get sheet by name and here we need to pass the sheet name that we have configured which is sheet 1 so as this is a try catch block guys so we also need to catch the error as well so we just need to write the catch statement also here catch e so if any sort of error take place we will simply return the error which is using content service this contains a method which is create text output so we will json stringify we will return the response in a json so we will have a property called as result so inside this we will show our error so result will be equal to error if any sort of error take place and we will be also be returning the error which is equal to e that's it and also we need to set the mim type so mim type will be equal to content service dot mim type dot json because this is a json response we are sending so that's why we are mim type json so after this guys we just need to after we select the sheet we need to add the headers so headers are simply basically the name email and date so sheet dot get range we will be get access to those headers so get range one comma one comma one so these are three columns for date name and email and then we will be providing the actual information which is sheet dot get last column and inside this method basically we will get the values so get values get values we will get the values so basically which is present inside the active spreadsheet which is name date and email so after getting this uh, information guys if you see uh, get values we will get the values like 0 0th index and now we will be going to the next row guys basically we will say she dot get last row sorry last row and inside this we will be incrementing it by one so every time when you add the information a new row will be inserted that's why we are incrementing by one that's it this is the logic behind this code after this guys we need to add the row of data what we need to add so we will be getting the information from the user we will use the map method and inside this we will have the actual information so this will be return header so for the date field guys it will automatically get inserted with the the today's date so that's why we will be using the date constructor here new date and here we will be adding the e dot parameter which is header like this this is a new row guys so now we just need to add this so now for adding this row here it's very simple we will basically call this method on the sheet object 
So there is a method out there which is called as get range, and we will pass the uh, next row, and we will pass the data as well. So one comma one, and then we will say next row dot length, and we need to set the values here. So set the values. and here we will pass the new row so automatically whenever you submit the information this row will be added here using set values that's it after this guys we just need to return some json response to the user that your data has been inserted so again we will use this content service basically this is used to return some uh, data back to the user create text output json dot stringify this time the object will be the result will be on success so result is success this is not mandatory that you pass a notification to the user but it just a nice little thing that you need to pass so if you see this needs to be a colon that's it after this guys we also need to set the mem type which is uh, json so content service dot mem type dot json that's it so this is all the code guys you need to write inside this file so now we just need to select the initial set setup set method here and then click on the run run button so as you click the run button guys initially you will be granting to the screen here which we need to grant the permissions of the sheet api so whenever you hit this button you need to allow the permission you need to click on the review permission button authorization you need to grant access select your account and then you need to click on advanced here and go to an un unsafe version so after you click this button you will be just click the allow button so it will be able to edit create and delete all your google sheet spreadsheet so click on allow after that you allow the button you will be granted the access so this is completed so you need to execute this method uh it is saying that initial setup code line 6 uh i think uh, i have made a mistake here in uh, writing the code so simply you need to copy paste the code guys i have given that code in the description so sometimes uh, spelling mistakes can occur so that's why i think you should copy paste this code So now once once again you need to run this code initial setup method run this again you will see attempted to execute what it was deleted execution started execution completed so now there is no error out there guys now you need to go to triggers option guys you need to add a trigger so when something what what happens when you submit the user form just click on triggers and you need to add a new trigger so you can see that you need to select here the post method here choose which function function to run so simply select do post and select event type so whenever user submit the form so select this so this will be the same here head portion and the event sort will be the spreadsheet all that stuff and click on save so this you need to add the trigger so again it will ask the permission for you so simply select the permission and allow the permission that's it this is all that you need to do after that it will add this trigger you will see now you need to deploy this application guys so to a web web url so that you can access this simply click on deploy and then you need to click on new deployment and uh, then you need to select the event which is it can be either api executable add on library i need to select web app so simply select this name uh, capture email app for website users so you who has access so simply select anyone that's it and click on deploy so now it will deploy this application on the live internet guys so so that you can make a request to those this is your url so simply copy your url this is different for you so now simply if you paste it in the browser you will see uh, do get is not there but do post is there so we need to make a simple html form here basically where we can simply get the information so form action so just copy paste that url that's it this is the url of that and just make a simple method of post you can create this form at anywhere guys local host or any 
inside your web, WordPress website or custom website, you just need to have a input form here like this. We will be getting this. Uh, just give it a name attribute of uh, email and uh, enter email. Then we will be writing the name of the person. So this will be type email here that's why and then guys we will have a simple submit button to submit the form uh, send so now this is our form so if I open with live server so what you will see guys if I open my sheet here you will see date email and name will field will be there and let me open this uh, let me open in a new tab here and this is my form so basically let me enter an email address and let me enter a name and name so you will see if I click the send button you will see this information is inserted the today's date is 26 November and you can see email address name you can see that so once again if I submit with a different email address John click on send so in this easy way guys you can capture information with the HTML and you can send it directly to your Google sheet using Google Apps script I have shown you step by step code that is required for this you can go to the blog post and copy paste all the source code and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you guys in the next video until then thank you very much